Hi everyone, welcome to Snippets and Scraps. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I am so happy that you are here. Today I have a very exciting video. I am finally ready to share my 2022 lineup. To be honest, it took me quite a while to decide what I'm going to use and for what. Um, but I think I am ready and it's quite simple something and that too without covers and I really want to get this video up so that I can do the set of videos soon so yeah if you want to see what I have for this coming year please keep on watching so let's set these aside and go through them one by one the first and perhaps the only thing that I was um, certain about from the very beginning is my daily planner. As you know, I use an A6 strategy to do my daily in-depth planning. Um, this is my current one and I really think this is as close to planner piece I am going to get um, at this point in my life. I really enjoy the setting up process, the blank pages, uh, it, they allow me to customize everything to my own needs. And I'm going to continue using an A6 strategy. As you can see, I already have a blank one ready to go. Um, as usual, I will be setting up my planner every weekend um, for the upcoming week. And I will also have notes pages in between each week. So yeah, that's going to remain the same this coming year. And if you are a strategy user or even any bullet journal um, user, you know that we do need a place for forward planning, um, a future log. Um, so for that, I am going to use this weekly supplement by Hobonichi. I have actually already started using it. I have um, put down some important dates. I'm choosing this just because of its small and compact size. Um, I will keep it tucked in uh, my planner, the back of my planner cover. So yeah, so that's my future planning system. And um, I started this current strategy in September and I barely managed to fit in four months. I think I have just enough pages for December. So that means I will have at least three such notebooks in the coming year. But I do have like 50 odd pages at the end of this notebook for my collections. I realized that if I have like three different notebooks uh, for the coming year, I will have to migrate these collections, these lists into a new notebook every few months. And um, I don't think I want to do that. So I will be moving all my collections to this Hobonichi weeks. All my collections are going to live here. I will be using the notes pages at the end. I hope these are going to be enough. Um, if not, we'll see. But I think for now that these, um, how many pages are there? 71. So I think these 71 pages should be enough for all my collections. Now, as you know, this week's was not intended to be part of my lineup. I purchased it as an option for the giveaway that I was hosting. Um, I gave an option to the winner to choose whether uh, they want this one or a Jibun Techo. So the winner chose the Jibun. So I thought that maybe I could give this a go. So I have decided that I am going to use this as my finance tracker. Next year is going to be my no spend year. Um, I plan to shop only when I need things. Um, so I will have to closely uh, track all my expenses. And sorry, there was somebody at the door. I think I was talking about the weeks. So yeah, this was going to be my uh, finance tracker. And I have a folio cover on the way. It's a zipper folio cover that I'm going to use as a wallet. So this will stay in my wallet and I will write down all my expenses here. I will make a separate video on all the covers that I'm going to use. Uh, this video is just going to be the planners and the journals. So yeah, this is my finances and 
investments planner next year i also want to focus on my health i am not sure how i want to go about it but i do want to keep track of my meals my uh, weights and measurements so i think i can do that here um, i think i don't need the whole space for my finance tracker so i think i will just draw a line perhaps and use one side for the expenses and the other for my meals and here i can probably uh, note down any health issues or uh, just my weights and measurements and those kind of things i think i should be able to fit both these things into one so yeah um next is my memory planning as you probably already know i do my memory planning um in my travelers company standard size notebook uh, i am currently using the weekly plus memo insert um the undated one i do have some videos up on my channel if you want to check them out i will link it in the cards and also in the description box below so i will continue using this notebook but i am changing up the insert this year i got the um dated one and in the vertical uh, layout so no other reason just because i wanted to switch up uh, the things a bit which is why i got the uh, vertical layout i really enjoy this size for my memory planning so yeah that's going to remain the same then um i have my social media planner now to be honest i'm not sure i need a whole notebook for that i can keep it together with my planner like i have been doing this year but since i already have this weekly supplement um tucked in here and i definitely don't need the whole space for my forward planning i think i am going to use it also as my social media planner um i have to see how i want to do that um probably i can um i don't know mention when i am filming that video and when i am editing and those kind of things because these are timed uh, layouts so i could actually track how long it takes for me to edit a video and film a video um yeah i am not 100% sure it will work out uh, but i do want to give this a shot so yeah that's my social media planner and and i think that kind of completes my planner system now let's move on to journaling now for journaling i have quite a few things first is my daily journaling which i call my happy journaling it's part of my nighttime routine and it's mainly pen and paper um i will show you um i do decorate this a little bit um i use stickers um uh, but i do this in advance which means that the actual content has nothing to do with the deco um i don't want it to become a chore which is why i decorate at least one month in advance and i have the pages ready for me every night i just need to open the notebook and just dot, jot down whatever i need to and i also have this um a sticker a day in a monthly layout so as you can see this system is very similar to what hobonichi offers in their original techo i think the only difference is that they have their monthlies together at the very beginning while i was doing it uh, just before the dailies for each month um but i do think this will work perfectly and i also in fact think that it will save me some time because uh like i said i have to prepare the pages in advance um at least write the date and the day um so that i can just open the book every night and jot down and hobonichi does it for you so i think this is going to be perfect for my daily journaling then i have my five year techo if you have watched my hobonichi haul videos you know that i got this 5 year techo in a6 for my 
five year journaling uh, this is something new for me but I'm very excited to try this out and I hope I can be consistent I know I may not be able to do this every day uh, in that case I am okay filling it up at the end of the week but I'm not sure what I want to do with this side um, I may do some doodling or add a photo once in a while um, yeah I don't know uh, what I'll do with this side but um, for this one, I will focus on um, the highlight of the day. It will be strictly memory keeping in a way that I will be fine if somebody else opens this notebook and reads it all. So yeah, I hope I can be consistent like I said, but I'm really excited about this. Okay. Then comes my creative journaling. Now creative journaling is of two types for me. I know it's a very broad term and people use it to mean different things. So I will just give you what I think creative journaling is for me. Um, so I do that in two ways. One is what I call a visual journal where I do my daily journaling about the things that have happened but in a more creative or visual way. That means I use ephemera, um, parts of happy mails that I receive, tickets of places that I visit um, and also add notes about the same. So um, I have been doing that in my Traveler's Company standard size notebook, but it's not a dated thing. I just use a plain notebook for that. Now, this year I got myself this Hobonichi Techo Evac. Now, I feel like I should have gone for the day free version. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with it, but I will definitely give this a shot. The main reason why I decided to go with Hobonichi is because I want to incorporate more watercolor into my spreads. And I think the Tomoe River paper is just better in that regard. So I am going to do that. And I got the bag because if I use watercolor and ephemera and all those things then of course it will chunk up quite a bit. And I think the original uh, would not be able to take that so yeah that's my daily journaling which i called visual journaling then i have something that i do which is just decorating um and it's more collages a more vintage style and it's just aesthetic i hardly ever write anything in those pages so that i do in my passport size uh, traveler's company notebook i use a blank insert recently i in fact made an insert myself um, i'll show you so my latest one is an insert i made myself it's just collages so yeah that's going to continue in this size and i just have this uh, blank insert in my stash so i think i'm going to use this next um yeah i also use this uh, passport size for, as my reading journal it's actually not a journal per se it's more like a record of all the books that i read i'll show you what this year's looks like i don't have it here i have kept it in my um i think it's called the refill binder yeah so this is what it looks like um i have like a quote from that book and a little uh, photo of the cover and little information yeah so i have that i think i am going to continue this next year i am not sure because i don't want to go into in-depth reviews for the books that i read but I do want to keep a record of the books that I read anyway so I think this is like a good middle ground so I think I will continue that um, in my passport size a traveler's company notebook so apart from that I have a commonplace book I only started it a few months ago I got inspired by um, Ali so I started working on this commonplace book um, I really like the idea it's just that I don't I uh, think I am consistent enough and I haven't I've done some doodling and watercolor and those kind of things I'm not good at it but yeah I have made some notes um, some 
coats but it's still very empty so i think i'm going to continue using this notebook um, because it's empty anyway i don't need a new one next year so that's that there is one last thing that i have in mind but i have not decided what i want to use for that and that one is um, a notebook to keep a track of all the crafting things that I want to do or try. I have realized that I watch quite a lot of YouTube videos on crafting and even reels on Instagram. Uh, and after watching those videos, I feel like, oh, I should try that, you know, um, but I forget about them. And even if I do remember, it's just difficult for me to go back and find the videos so that when I actually attempt that craft, I can credit the person I was inspired by. So my plan is to have a place where I will jot all of the ideas and uh, the video that inspired me. Um, and I also want to keep a record of the crafting things that I do actually end up trying. I want to keep a track of the, you know, crafting materials that I would need for that particular craft, you know, so those kind of things. Um, I'm not sure what I want to use. Um, I have this um, blank vertical um, in my stash. I also have another one of these um, supplements that, uh, in my stash, but I'm not sure what I want to use. Do let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, I don't think I want to use another strategy because I have way too many strategies in my uh, light up. So if there's something else you have in mind that I can use for this particular uh, you know part of my lineup do let me know i am very interested to do that next year and uh, yeah i think that concludes my whole lineup um i will be doing separate setup videos for most of my planners and journals over the next what six weeks yeah so i'm going to do those videos before the end of the year um yeah i'm not sure i want to go all out with the decorations at the very beginning because it's a long year i want to keep space for decorations that i can add throughout the year but i will definitely start and uh, i don't want my notebooks to be too plain otherwise i may not be motivated enough to get into the habit um, at least for the new things that i'm going to do like this uh, five-year techo and even the daily uh, visual journaling so yeah um i think that's it do let me know uh if you are using any of these notebooks and what your 2022 lineup looks like so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye